As we approach the most anticipated festival in Trinidad and Tobago, we'd like to take time to review some of the growing trends in the sector and their role in the development and future of Carnival as a viable industry. Fets are a signature part of the Carnival experience and a necessity for those who are adamant about enjoying the season. They take on a more meaningful role for partiers who are not playing mass as it is their saving grace and an escape from their everyday routine. Whether it is a cooler fete, semi-all-inclusive or the all-inclusive, many party goers have taken directive from Iowa George and must go fete after fete. With that is the sound of collective dwindling bank accounts. In spite of those fortunate enough to get a comp, most people have to pay, right? In this edition of Iron Carnival, we look at the cost of FETs and whether or not they are justifiable. For our analysis, we stick to the big guns. In other words, the all-inclusives. As cooler fats and semi-all-inclusives usually range from 200 to about 300, there is no need to fixate on those events for this investigation. So, let's do a cost breakdown of some of the more popular all-inclusive events. Soka in Mocha, 750 to 850 TT. Bishop's Fet, 750 TT. CIC Fet with the Saints, 1000 TT. UE All Inclusive, 1100 TT. Hyatt Lime All Inclusive, 575 US for a diamond ticket or 325 US for a platinum ticket. Every day is fet, I come out to fet, I better fet in more than you. But on a serious note, how many of us can realistically afford these events? Well, apparently a lot, as they are always packed or at least consistently well attended. On the plus side, they include a great lineup of artists, nice freebies, high octave performances, and an abundance of food and drinks. Let's be real here. There are many of us who simply go for the food, and this appeal may be adding to most of the bill. The only thing Trini love more than partying is their bellies, and the all-you-can-eat concept will always sell. And in doing so, justify the cost of these parties and any future increases. If you can't afford to live it up like the Great Gatsby, then the cooler fets or semi-all-inclusives may suit you better. There's also the option of enjoying the event vicariously via broadcast channel or an online streaming platform. Whatever your choice, it seems like there's no going back in terms of the prices. The exorbitant fets are definitely here to stay. Because we 